the Fraser Zoo complex is, includes 83,000 hectares of white forest that includes about six forest reserves. About 30 years back, I have seen the tiger and the other animal, wild boar, you can see here at night. <laughs> yeah. You can see butterfly, beetles, also beautiful moths. Got the like moon moth like that. It's beautiful. Now, now it's very hard to see any moth anymore. Kami orang asli sangat berkait rapat dengan hutan-hutan ni lah. Uh, air untuk masak, untuk minum. Kalau sungai sentiasa putus, uh, kesihatan kami pun tidak tidak begitu baik. Hei, kamu mahu air lagi, mai? Tidak perlu buat. Apa yang kamu tidak buat? Kamu tidak perlu buat. Kamu tidak perlu buat. Kamu tidak perlu buat. Kamu tidak perlu buat. Kamu tidak The Fraser Zoo Forest Complex provides a whole lot of ecosystem services such as water provisioning, even ecotourism, and even pollination, photosynthesis. These services are provided free, uh, silently, without any complaint, and people are not aware of it. Bukit Fraser ni mempunyai keistimewaannya sendiri. Ia merupakan resort tanah tinggi, mungkin yang tertua di Malaysia. Kalau kita bandingkan dengan tanah-tanah tinggi yang lain, mempunyai kehijauan yang lebih dan menarik daripada tanah-tanah tinggi yang lain. People come to Fraser because they like the weather, and it's not very far, two hours. And there are some people they trip, they come, have a lunch, go around, and they go back. Many trainers come here by bicycle. Then they go for mountain climbing here. There's nice jungle tracks. School holiday, a lot. Uh, the parents bring all the children up up here. Birding is a lot. Lah. Well, the biodiversity is vast. On the fauna part, we have captured about 33 to 35 over species of mammals, such as the zero melanistic leopard, the tapir, the sun bears, the bear cats, and a lot more other smaller mammals. Sekitar kawasan Utali Pulau Terlembik ini terdapatnya air terjun lata celih yang mempunyai lapan tingkat. Di kawasan ini terdapat dua spesies Reflesia, iaitu Reflesia kantlei dan juga Reflesia azrani. Ten years ago, everywhere a lot of butterflies. I have seen the Raja Brook, butter brush. Oh no! We, I don't see a lot of spiders, the yellow turtle martin, all gone. So that is somebody poaching somewhere. Because last time you see a lot of snakes around, scorpion, no more. Well, the current threats that the forest complex is uh, facing now are land use changes, such as logging, mining, agriculture, and even infrastructures for WWF. Work here is primarily advocate to the state government to gazette this forest complex as a state park. No state park, anybody can walk, anybody can do what they want. Like people come and they can put a net and they catch the birds. Some people come, oh, this is a medicine plant, they will take it off. So Fraser is free. If we fail to protect our Fraser Seal complex, I cannot imagine what would happen because we will lose all the ecosystem services that it provides. Without water, we will lose our food security, we will lose our water security, medicine provisioning. Tentu sekali kita perlu menjaga persekitaran Bukit Fraser. Sekiranya persekitaran ini tidak dijaga, tarikan-tarikan yang berkaitan dengan kepelancongan tentunya akan rosak. Para pelancong yang meminati birdwatching seumpamanya akan tidak lagi datang ke sini. Kalau kita tak ada kesedaran spesies-spesies unik ini, mungkin kita cuma boleh tengok dalam buku sahaja. Kalau kita tidak hormat, tidak menghargai apa yang ada tu, memang masa depan memang tak ada lah. The end goal is that the state government protects Fraser Hill Forest Complex as a state park. With the state park status, we can be ensured that there is a managing authority that manages the place effectively against all threats.